Your forecast first, sponsored by Matax Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing. Well, we've actually seen some nice weather the past couple of days. Unfortunately, tomorrow we go in the other direction as cloud cover begins to move in. We're already seeing that here tonight, noticing kind of the white and the gray here indicating the clouds. And then the green showing rain across Missouri and far southern Illinois. Near Carbondale, you guys may see some light showers. But I think most of us just have to deal with the cloud cover as we head into the day tomorrow. Wind speeds, not bad. Finally calming down. 10 miles an hour in Champaign, only 6 in Springfield. And our temperatures still fairly mild into the 50s from Effingham to Springfield, now 46 in Champaign. But as we get into tomorrow morning, we're thinking some 30s to start things out. And we don't warm up a whole lot on your Tuesday because of all of that cloud cover. But we bounce back nicely later this week. We'll talk about the positive news and the weather forecast when we come back. WCA3 News starts right now. Now from WCIA3 News. So you have fewer people out driving them down the road. Um, fewer doors that are open. And it's led to something law enforcement didn't expect. What the stay-at-home order means for crime rates across central Illinois. Plus, half of the people living at a senior living facility tested positive for coronavirus, where some of them got infected. And getting a family portrait normally involves you going to the photographer, but not this time. You're watching your local news leader. This is WCIA 3 News at 10. As the COVID-19 pandemic unfolds, police continue to combat crime. But in recent weeks, it's been different in many counties in central Illinois. Good evening, I'm Paul Cicchini. Tonight, we're taking a closer look at fluctuating crime rates since Governor Pritzker ordered people to stay home. WCI 3's Jennifer Jensen has more. Crime is taking an unusual turn in several central Illinois areas like Coles County. Overall crime um, has been down uh, since the stay home order was put in place. The same goes for Macon County. It's a lot calmer than what it normally is. The stay at home order in the crux of the COVID-19 crisis has revealed a trend many police agencies like the Macon County Sheriff's Office have noticed. You have fewer people out driving them down the road, um, just fewer Stores that are open, so there's fewer uh, retail thefts going on. There are many different reasons why crime rates increase or decrease, especially during a pandemic. For example, in Ford County, with a predominantly older population of about 14,000 people, the sheriff says it's been eerily quiet when it comes to crime. There have been a few farm shed burglaries, but other than that, calls for service are low. But with more people staying indoors during the pandemic, police say there is a heightened concern surrounding domestic violence. Individuals that uh, get stressed out over little things, this just adds more fuel to their fire and uh, makes your tipping point a little bit sooner than what normally would have been. In Champaign County, the sheriff's office says overall calls for service are down. But just this weekend, a mother and her daughter were killed in their home in St. Joe. The mother's boyfriend is accused of shooting them both. This type of domestic crime is something police agencies say they will be monitoring closely in the coming weeks. When you people are around each other uh, for a longer length of time, that's always a concern. Reporting, I'm Jennifer Jensen, WCIA 3, your local news leader. If someone needs help, they can call Courage Connection, a domestic violence shelter in Urbana. The hotline is free and available 24-7. The number 877-384-4390. It's right there on your screen. Now, in the coming weeks, police agencies say they'll have more information about crime statistics during this stay-at-home order. We have an update about the double murder investigation in St. Joseph. The man accused of killing his girlfriend and her daughter was in court today. Jonathan Perry faces a mandatory life sentence if convicted. Officials say Kimberly and Blair Coyne were killed in court today. We learned Perry's mother called 911 and said her son came to her home and led her to believe he hurt his girlfriend and her daughter at their home. Deputies say Perry told them he was having mental health issues. He spoke about the Illuminati and the end of the world. Deputies say they found what appeared to be blood in the car he drove. 
In other news, Danville police are investigating after a man and woman were shot in the arm Saturday near Cone and Edgewood Drive. Police say the victims were sitting inside their car when someone started shooting at them. Witnesses say they saw a man fire before getting into a red car and taking off. If you know anything about what happened, you're asked to call Danville police or Crime Stoppers. New at 10, crews are on the scene of a fire in Decatur. It's on Illinois Route 10 near Illini Drive. No word if anyone was hurt. After a prisoner in northern Illinois was diagnosed with coronavirus, sheriff's offices downstate are doing what they can to make sure COVID-19 doesn't make it inside their buildings. The Champaign County Sheriff's Office screens everyone who comes into the jails, including staff and medical personnel. Temperatures are checked and people are asked about symptoms. They're quarantined if someone has them. The office is also trying to keep people with minor offenses out of jail. Most of the people that are currently in custody have a high bond or are here on violent charges. So we are, we are doing everything that we can to not have them here if we don't have to. He said fewer than 150 inmates are at both jails as of today. As we first told you on the WCI 3 News app, the total number of cases of COVID-19 has eclipsed 5,000. The state's top doctor announced 461 new cases today, including eight additional deaths since yesterday. 73 people total have died during the pandemic, including an 84-year-old man in Morgan County. The state's stay-at-home order goes or is rather expected to last through at least April 7th. But the governor wasn't clear today whether that would be extended after the president urged social distancing at the federal level through at least April 30th. More than half of the residents at a senior home in Taylorville tested positive for the coronavirus. Two of them are in the hospital. County health officials held a remote news conference today to explain how quickly it spread, where they believe it came from, and what they're doing now as the entire facility is under quarantine. WCI 3's Mark Maxwell, ha Mark Maxwell has more from Taylorville tonight. In the beginning, there was a lot of concern, some fear. 12 of 22 seniors living alone at Taylorville's Rolling Meadows Senior Living Facility tested positive for the coronavirus. The facility has been placed on quarantine. A barricade now blocks the road and police stand guard 24-7. Public health officials traced the travel history of the first patient here to test positive back to another confirmed case in the county. We later found out after the second person tested positive that there was a link through a church. Both patients had previously attended the Crossroads Apostolic Ministries, a gathering now banned under Governor Pritzker's order to stay at home. The senior home now under more intense scrutiny and in line for a good scrub. A professional cleaning team will be going in daily for cleaning the common areas. One patient is hospitalized in stable condition in Taylorville, a second in intensive care in Springfield. The other 10 infected patients and their neighbors got a helping hand from City Hall. We'll be able to help the people inside there. I, I know medically I can't do anything, but as far as their needs. Mayor Bruce Berry offering his services as a delivery man. We'll get a list from the, uh, from the Department of Health nurse uh, what the individual needs are, and I'll go tomorrow and purchase these uh, items myself. While doctors treat the two patients in the hospital and nurses monitor the rest of the residents at home, the mayor shared this message to everyone else in Taylorville. We're all in this together and just please stay home. For at least the next two weeks, the 20 seniors who remain here under quarantine have seen their horizons reduced to the four walls and a window pane that surround them and their skies, now the drywall ceiling above. Their hopes resting on people from the outside, daily deliveries, and should their symptoms worsen, the doctors and nurses who staff the hospital across town. Their new life under lockdown, under quarantine, offering the rest of us a look at what's at stake, why we stay home, why we wash our hands, and why when we do go out in public, we keep our distance. Because once that pathogen, the coronavirus, has breached the walls of a senior home like this one, its rapid spread is quite nearly inevitable. Reporting in Taylorville, Mark Maxwell, WCI 3, your local news leader. That quarantine's in place until at least April 10th and could be extended if more residents start to show symptoms. After what happened in Christian County, at least one nursing home in Champaign County is about to ramp up its anti-coronavirus protocol. Several weeks ago, Clark Lindsay in Urbana banned non-essential visitors and started screening at the front door. In the health center, everyone has to wear masks. Starting today, all Clark Lindsay employees are wearing cloth masks when they go to the independent living area. When food is delivered to someone's door, staff will take a resident's temperature. The staff there says protecting the residents feels like protecting a loved one.
all of them are dear to us. We have personal connections to each one of our residents. And so we take this very seriously. They're a part of our family. And so we're taking every precaution possible to protect them from COVID-19. Right now, Clark Lindsay doesn't have any reported cases of COVID-19, but if and when it does get one, rooms are available in the Health Center for residents to quarantine. A hospital in central Illinois has been doing drive through testing for weeks. Patients need to call before going to Memorial Hospital's Express Care Center East Indicator. They're given a respiratory screening from their car. The team of medical professionals is able to test for the flu and coronavirus if the patient qualifies. Memorial also has a drive through in Springfield. The process is evolving as they learn more. You know, we had trial run throughs on the before we opened, but there's nothing like that first patient coming through to really, you know, make sure the systems are working. But we've had, you know, multiple iterations and we're continuing to, you know, improve ourselves in the community. Between the two locations, they have done over 600 tests for COVID-19. They've had over 5,000 calls looking for appointments in Decatur. They're open for screening seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. First Christian Church in Tuscola is holding a mask drive to help supply hospitals in a critical time of need. It has bins set up for people to donate packaged or homemade masks. Medical centers are running low on personal protective equipment. This is a way you can help during this COVID-19 crisis. The collection will run tomorrow from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. The church will donate the masks to Carl Hospital later this week. We have something that will make you and family smile. Why it has to do with getting your picture taken. Plus, schools statewide are preparing for classes without classrooms. How districts are making sure e-learning doesn't leave out those without internet. And good news today from the NCAA, what it announced about players' seasons, whose seasons were affected by coronavirus.